On this vote, there are 23 ayes and 22 noes. Uh, the ayes have it, and the motion is agreed to. Uh, without, without it was a non-binding vote by a committee, not the no, full Congress, please. but it without prompted an immediate and furious reaction. Minutes after the House Foreign Affairs Committee passed the resolution, branding the killing of large numbers of Armenian civilians by Ottoman Turkish forces in the First World War as genocide, Turkey's Prime Minister, Tayyip Erdogan, recalled the Turkish ambassador to Washington for consultations. The debate over the words used to describe the 20th century's first episode of organized mass killing has been an irritant to U.S.-Turkish relations for years. Many survivors of the massacres in 1915 emigrated to the United States. Their descendants make up a large, wealthy, and politically well-connected community. Several survivors were present as the votes were cast. We're very gratified that the House Foreign Affairs Committee chose to prevent Turkey from imposing a gag rule on U.S. foreign policy and uh, decided to stand up for truth and justice and to bring forward the truth of the Armenian Genocide. Not wanting to be lumped together with Nazi Germany and the Cambodian Khmer Rouge, successive Turkish governments have denied the killings constituted genocide. In principle, I think, Americans would, be, would, would feel the same if we would pass a resolution in our parliament talking about the treatment of Indians uh, in this country. And I think uh, it's not upon legislators to judge on history, especially when this country is a strong ally, works closely with the United States, and uh, there is an ongoing reconciliation process between Turkey and Armenia. When he ran for president, Barack Obama promised to recognize the killings were genocide. But once in the White House, he backtracked and didn't use the word in official statements. Obama made Turkey one of his first overseas stops as president and has tried to bolster the two countries' ties as an example of warm relations between the U.S. and a majority Muslim country. Turkey is a vital supply line for U.S. troops in Iraq and has its own troops on the ground in Afghanistan. Bilateral relations will enter, and in, enter into uh, a new crisis, uh, which will have important effects for U.S. policy in the Middle East and U.S. policy in Afghanistan, and especially on Iran as well, because Turkey is an important ally on, on all of those fronts. U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton had urged the committee not to go ahead with its vote, saying it could damage ongoing talks to normalize relations between Turkey and Armenia, two countries that cannot forget the terrible events of nearly a century ago. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Washington.